Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Morning everyone. It's a very foggy Saturday morning in January. Um, out of my uh, squirrel feeder today. Uh, using the Daystate Airwolf MCT, Hawk Max Compact Pard 007. Uh, launching the Mako slugs from Pre Precision Ballistics through a uh, Rowan single shot loader. Um, I've been here since about 7.30, just it's getting light. <clears throat> it's about 8 o'clock now. Um, hasn't one shown up yet, but squirrels are bone idle in the cold mornings, so the, I think they'll be along soon. He's having to top the feeder up every day or so, so there's obviously something about. Um, I came last Friday in the afternoon for a couple of hours and bagged bag two, um, which you'll see next. So hopefully a couple more will show up at least. I think we're going to be looking at calling it a day here um, due to the limited numbers that we're, I'm seeing. Uh, and he wants to get back to feeding the birds. So I think once this feeder empties, he's going to um, refill the bird table and um, see if he gets any more. Okay, so here's the two I had on Friday, and then hopefully there'll be some more after that from today. Okay, speak to you soon. Well, here I am on uh, Friday afternoon. Managed to get away from work uh, just before one, so shot up to the squirrel perm for an afternoon, a couple of hours, because he said the uh, feeder had been raided. Uh, it doesn't get dark till nearly half past four, so uh, I thought I would get a couple of hours in. And as soon as I got there, there was actually one on it, which ran away. So I got set up quick behind a pallet with my net thrown over it. Sat on my seat, shooting sticks. Nothing fancy. Got set up as quick as I could. Uh, watching the birds. Here comes the one in from the right. I'm shooting through the slots in the pallet so the squirrel can't see me. Comes bundling in. Sets up. One mill dot hold under and it's all over. I had to wait about an hour for the next one. Um, while I was uh, sat there, I was entertained by the Jays. They like the peanuts. Beautiful birds. No, I'm not going to shoot it. And also, this little fella. Don't see many of them, especially from the from a townie like me. It wasn't that long after that that uh, second one came in. In a bit of a hurry. Seemed to. Uh, Come along that branch at the back and then in on the uh, in on the right hand side. He was uh, looking at the one on the ground for ages. So I've actually cut a bit out there, about four minutes. He just went down on the floor and um, he must have been uh, trying to resuscitate Gerald on the floor. And in the end gave up and decided he wanted a peanut. You can see his tail flicking, he's not happy, but he's hungrier than he's not happy, so the peanuts get the better of him. I get lined up on him. And he's all over. Okay, back to the uh, foggy morning. This was the Saturday morning. January 15th, very chilly and foggy, I'm actually in my hide this time, so I don't want to get wet through, and I can just about make it out in the twilight, get myself sorted and settled. One mil dot hold under, and it's all over. I like it when they grab on like that, it's a good brain shot when they do that. 
So this gun zeroed at 30 yards. So I've changed the zoom to five times so that um, 20 yards, which is the distance to the feeder, is one mil dot hold under. So obviously the, the slugs are going through the mill dot above the crosshair, not the crosshair itself, before anybody says that I'm shooting low. Next one comes in, and uh, I hadn't picked the first one up, so uh, he was on the floor. He seemed a bit distracted by the one on the floor. The J comes in for a peanut, frightens him. Trying to take a shot there. No, look at the head movement. Guaranteed he'll just shift his head slightly as you back pull the trigger. That's what the peanuts are for. Last thing I want is to take an ear off and have it run away. Die somewhere over a matter of days. It's not what we're here for. It's a job to be done. Let's, say let's do it right. Bit of a flea bag this one. Still a bit wary of uh, of his mate on the ground. How bothered? That bothered that I won't have a peanut. Shall I take the shot there? No, nope. head movement again. You see, just lining up. Yeah, let's have a peanut. Drops that one, picks another, and he gives you a 10 second window, pull the trigger, and it's all over. So I go out and pick those two up, because I don't like too many on the floor, because uh, it's a bit of a distraction. And I sit and have a cup of tea, and a couple of bickies, while I'm waiting. And it takes about an hour for the next one to show up. As you can see, the fog start to lift slightly and sun starting to shine through a little bit more, which makes things a bit clearer. I'm just waiting now for for him to come in. Look out where he is. I've seen him in the silhouette of the skyline. Just trying to get him through the scope so I know where he is. Seems a bit distracted, but not enough to put him off coming for a peanut. He's in a hurry, this one. As you see, another J on the feeder again. Now, this was the delay, if I remember rightly. I didn't realise there was actually two squirrels. And that might have been why I was a bit agitated. So now, it's eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You'll do. Down you go. Mate's not happy. I'm wondering where he's gone at this point. Where is he? Must have ran back up the tree at the back. There he is. Now he's thinking, now what do I do? I'm thinking whether I want to take a shot or not, but that branch goes off in a straight line behind and I'm not 100% sure on the distance. 
I haven't got my rangefinder in the uh, in the bag. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave him and just let him see if he comes to the uh, feeder. But he's obviously uh, agitated by what's happened. His arse is twitching like a rabbit's nose. And you're just wondering is it worth a peanut? And I'm wondering shall I pull the trigger? And then you get the head movement again and then you realise it's not a good idea. Even that great tip spooked him then so he ended up he buggered off and I waited for a while and another one came now whether this was that one I'm not sure it took about half an hour for another one to show up maybe it was the same one didn't recognize the face but they all count and now I'm just waiting for him to make his way in There he is. I'd been out and picked up again at this point, so there are no squirrels on the ground. But I did notice that they did seem to uh, pause a bit. I'm wondering, there was quite a bit of blood down below that had been dripped off from the headshots. And whether that smelled a lot of squirrel, or whether it was the smell of the blood, I'm not sure. But they did seem to want to go down and check that out, even though there were no squirrels about. I'm just waiting for him to come back up now. There he is. It seems to be getting a whiff. Knows something's wrong but can't put his finger on it. Unfortunately for him, I've got a trigger and I can put my finger on it. And down he goes. Nice cling on and drop. Okay, squirrel number five. Once again, another half hour wait. They must be coming in from quite a distance now because it was uh, this was getting on for sort of around sort of half past ten by this point. I saw that jay just fly up. They were never far away. There was four at one point on the feeder. Once again there were no squirrels on the ground and I'm sure they could smell something wasn't quite right. They seemed quite eager staring down. I think it was possibly the blood. Blue tit there grabbing a peanut. Just wanted to check it out, just wasn't yeah, something's not quite right with this. Come on back up, come and have a peanut, make everything right. There we go, that's better. See, absolutely nothing wrong anywhere. Just above the eye and down he goes.
So now I'm thinking, five, is that it? Surely that must be it. So I'll give it till about half eleven. And I've just stood outside the hide, having a bit of a stretch. And I just caught sight of him on the right, coming in. So I duck under, dive in the hide, grab the rifle, sit down, try and zip the hide up behind me so I've not got daylight silhouetting me. Get settled, get the gun loaded. Without trying to disturb him. Bit of a clumsy one, this one. I think it was a young one. Seemed to struggle a bit, hanging on. Nearly falls twice. But, gets there in the end. And grab yourself a peanut and get sat down. And there we are. Nice six for a morning. Filled the feeder up. Told the owner, he was very happy. And there's the mighty Earwolf. With the six from this morning. What a rifle that is. Awesome piece of kit. Most accurate gun I've ever owned. Okay. If you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share. And won't be too long till I see you next time. Bye for now.